What up everybody, I posted this video recently, me in the forge yet again, like I am right now. I asked for 20,000 likes and I would do some top rated comment trade ups. We've hit 33,000 likes already. You guys absolutely kill it. Mwah. Peace and love to all of you. So let's have a look at some of the trade ups you guys want me to do. You should try to trade up to a stat track or Blackimov with some Battle Scarred Nova Antiques. So I did my research into the Blackimov and which flow exactly defines a Blackimov. Let's see how this other YouTuber called Fluent describes the Blackimov. 975, it's probably a fake, but only just. However, if the float is above 0.95, then there's a good chance it's a true Blackimov. Just please make sure you check it multiple times, over and 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 over again. If your Blackimov is 0.98 or above, I can confirm right here, right now, it's a true Blackimov. So it seems only 0.98 and higher float are like 100% confirmed Blackimovs. You can see that in game, anything above that actually has a tiny bit of skin on the scope left. But we need to try and create one with 0.98 or above for it to be not a fake Blackimov. But just before we dive into those, this video is brought to you by Skinport. Skinport is a skins marketplace with no fees for buyers at all. This makes it way cheaper than the Steam market and there's a hell of a lot of skins to choose from as well. Not only can you buy skins on Skinport, you can also sell them, where payouts will be sent in your local currency with many, many countries supported. The highly trusted marketplace with 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot and it's fast, smooth, easy and secure. Check out Skinport down below in the top pinned comment. Got my referral link in, it will let Skinport know I sent you. Big shout out to Skinport for sponsoring the video, great marketplace. Let's get back to the trade-ups. If we take a look at the Phoenix collection, the Red Line, the Nova Antique, and the Trigon, they're all float capped on the lower end. So the most battle scarred item we can actually get is the Trigon at 0.75 float. Even if we got the absolute maxed out worst version one of the Trigon filled with a whole bunch of 999 fillers, the absolute worst float you can get in the entire game. It's still gonna come out at 978, which isn't technically a true Blackimov. So I have a few skins to attempt this myself, but unfortunately, I don't think a true Blackimov can even be traded up to. We would only be able to get a 0.97 and it's only a 5% on top of that. But here goes nothing. Our first contract. Possibly not a real Blackamoth. But I promised you guys I would do your suggestions, so here we are. The 5%. Actually a lot harder to create than I could have imagined. Let's count this down. Three, two, one, Black E Moth. Oh. I had a feeling we were going to get that. That was the 25%, the biggest chances to get, and that's definitely not the number one battle scar in the world, unfortunately. These guys don't appear to be special whatsoever. Very cheap, in fact. Blackimov failed. Let's move on. Ooh, I think some of us would love to see the number one Orp Medusa again. I've prepared it, but I'm not quite prepared to do it right now. A number one highest float or prince trade up. I actually looked into this one and I agree the pure black scope on the battle scarred prince is badass. Whereas the normal scope normally looks like this. I mean, it's still cool, but actually, I think I agree with your comment. I prefer pure black scope. However, after doing all of my research into this, it's not actually possible. The items aren't out there right now. To create this even if i bought everything lowest available on the market it still wouldn't do it so thank you very much for your suggestion highly highly appreciated unfortunately not possible would be sick to see a number one jet set one of my favorites of all time i love that skin currently the number one jet set is actually quite beatable. It's a 001. And look at what an old school cool skin this is. I doubt many of you watching this have even seen this skin. That's how rare it is. It's actually very hard to get these fillers from the baggage collection in low flow. I overpaid quite a lot for this 005, which is like the absolute best I could do. And I managed to put together 
some very expensive fillers just for this contract, just for you, just for your suggestion. And this gives us a 5% once again at the number one AK-47 jet set. That would be unreal to hit all these years later. Plus, some of the other outcomes aren't too bad and I can use them as fillers. We really don't want to hit that R8. I might be cursing it a little bit right now, but really don't want that R8. This is what the contract is going to look like, 5% at the number one AK-47 jet set. I would love that. Quite cool sticker combinations on the pilot, but let's see if we can turn it into something even cooler. Your trade-up suggestions coming in, let's do it. In three, in two, in one. I'm going to close my eyes for this one because I really want it. I really want that jet set. That would be so cool. Jet set! Oh, well, that's not the worst outcome. It could have been an R8 revolver amber fade, and this guy is quite a nice filler for me to use in the future. It's not all sad news, but it is quite sad. We didn't hit that chest set. Moving on, Mr. Oni, you commented Mac 10 Heat, and that's it. Like, I'm so confused. Do you want it in best float? Do you want it in worst float? Do you want it in stack track? Do you just like the skin? You've left me guessing here. I'm guessing it's because you miss your old Mac 10 heat. For reason, hollows on it. I remember you mentioning this one quite a few times. I'm figuring you just like the skin, and <laughs> that's why you want me to attempt it. But I'm more than happy to do that. I put together a nice little mil spec contract right here, which gives us, guess what? A 2% at the Mac 10 Heat. This would not be, unfortunately, the number one Mac 10 Heat. It would, however, be the number two. If we hit this 2%, it's gonna be number two, ironically. Two for two. And if I hit it, I'm gonna give it to you, because clearly you like this game, so let's do it. Three, two, one, Mac 10 Heat. Oh, it's a Swag 7. I wonder if that's even the number one Swag 7. I mean, it's pretty damn low flow, isn't it? No, no, it's uh, it's it's around the three or four mark. Let's try it again for you, but this time in stat track, like the Reason Hollow one that you had once upon a time. Why'd you get rid of that, by the way? It's really stupid of you. Oh this time, we get a 2%, another 2% at the Mac 10 Heat. If we hit it, I don't think it'll be the number one. It looks like it'll actually be the number three. Time to keep our fingers crossed for the Oni Mac 10 Heat. Number three in the world, which just so happens to be my lucky number. 2%, that's all we got, a one in 50. <laughs> so let's get it. If I hit it, Oni, it's all yours, all right? Three, two, you better apply four reason holders to it. <laughs> one. Let's go! Oh, the Arctic Wolf. Oh, and unfortunately we just, just missed out a tiny bit on making the number one stat track. Ours is like this, four zeros, one seven. Number two is four zeros, one two. Still a top five, but not the Mac 10 heat we're after. I have a weapon case one in my inventory and I have one key left. This is very, very random because this is a trade up video, but let's just open it and see if we can get anything other than the mill spec. Ooh, all right, I'll take it. Is it static? Oh, not quite. This means, from the top suggested comment, we have one left. A lot of people would like to see the number one Alt Medusa. It's my favorite. I love the Alt Medusa. I like balls. Oh, that's different. I support the Medusa trade up like it's some kind of movement. <laughs> Medusa matters. I want to see you spend $4,000 on fillers for a $1,700 skin too. Such support in the comments. <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys. Currently, the number one Alt Medusa sits at zero, 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 four, nine. A lot of people have some really nice crafts on this skin, I guess because it's so old school. I'm sure a lot of the stickers were placed on these skins before they absolutely blew up in value, like the four times Titan right here. Here is the contract I have devised. It was not cheap. This Poseidon alone in 001 cost me $2,000 and the rest of the fillers are easily going to cost me a few more thousand dollars. It is a 10% at the number one orb. Medusa. You guys wanted to see it, wanted to see me attempt it, and I'm a man of my word. 
so I've got to do it. I'm going to be putting the Poseidon, which actually uh, has got some stickers on it. I like it. Into slot number three. The magic slot, the slot we need to come through today for the 10%. I'm double checking these fillers and these floats because uh, we all know what happened on the orb. There's a Hydra number one. And, and I still don't want to talk about it. I really don't. <sighs> you guys wanted it, so here it is. Number one orc Medusa attempt in the entire world. 10% at it. Some of you guys clearly have quite expensive tastes. Mr. Gaben, you've blessed us very recently with the Desert Hydra. I know that I messed it up, but I haven't messed up this one, okay? Bring the old school number one skins my way. The Medusa would be unbelievable. Hear our prayer, and that's all I gotta say before doing this. One, 10% or Medusa. Oh, surprise, surprise. Our good old friend, the 70% scout blood in the water. I, I think I've lost count of how many of these I've made. I must have made a lot of the top 20. It's guaranteed. 10% not coming in for us today, sadly. But I have another bonus 10%. You thought it was over, it ain't over. Guess what? We're gonna go for a Gungnir. Let's slip it into our magic slot. Number three, it's already rearranged into number two. I miss the old trade up system. We're also gonna add this Poseidon in here. I love the sticker theme with the ocean but you're getting deleted. Here's what the final bonus surprise contract looks like. It won't be a number one of any type, but if we were to hit the Medusa, that'd be sick, and it'd be a factory new, and even sicker would be a factory new Gungnir. This is our last shot in the video of hitting anything whatsoever. So let's count it down, shall we? Three, two, one. Kind of expecting to see another scout blow the water. Show me that gun. Oh, no way! We hit the Medusa, that's sick! I am happy with that. Why couldn't have we hit this on the number one Medusa? That would have been nice. But instead, we end the video on a very happy note. Alt Medusa, epic! And an Alt Medusa in Factory New is worth over $5,000. Definitely profit on that contract. Happy days. Don't think we made profit overall on the whole video, if I'm honest with you. We had quite a few misses. What a cool and old school skin. The comeback, the Alt Medusa. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let's set a little like goal on it. We'll say 25 thousand likes and i will try to attempt the number one ak-47 wild locus i know that is a crazy crazy skin to be attempting and i know my boy tarifa actually recently hit it but him and i we have a plan and if we hit 25,000 likes that plan will be revealed i appreciate all your love all your support all the comments all the likes and i hope you all have an incredible day. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.